So last time we say that we can implement the V using the face oracle. For example, uh, we say V apply to an arbitrary vector V apply to a uh, arbitrary state X. Do you remember what is that? It, when we use a face oracle, what is that? How does it operate when I apply to an arbitrary basis state? Uh, it is, yeah, it rotated uh, clockwise, but uh, I'm asking just uh, from the equation as a face oracle. Almost is something to the power. Now, what V, by the way, right? We are trying to search for the function. How do we search it? We do computation, right? We say F of X equal to A equal to one. F of X not equal to A equals to zero. That's how we search it, right? So it means in the algorithm, I must have, I must contain f of x in one of the operation, right? Otherwise, how are you searching? Looks like very fancy. There must be a place that you contain this information, right? Do, do you remember which one contain is v? Or, we only have two operations. One is v, one is w, right? Which one contain the operation? Contain f of x? The V, right? Why? Because V is rotating about A perpendicular. And of course, then it needs to be contained in V because A perpendicular contains the information of A, right? Because what it doesn't have is the answer, right? So that's why uh, V must be the where we implement the oracle, right? And we can implement e, V using the face oracle. But what is the form of the face oracle again? That's my question. Uh, almost hi, is negative one to the F of X. Remember? Yeah. When it is F of A, you get a uh, negative one. If it is F of zero, which is zero, then uh, f of a, uh, f of x not equal to a, then it is zero, right? Then you get one. And it doesn't really tell you what is f of x, right? It tell you, but it contain the information of f of x. So this is one way of implementing the quantum oracle. And I showed you last time it works, right? It really does the function to flip any vector about a perpendicular. Is that okay? Now, my goal is to show you that we can equally implement this by using an exclusive or oracle if you cannot find an exclusive oracle, right? So how do we implement? Okay, exclusive or oracle can be written as something like this. And this time, I'm going to put the MSB at the bottom, just like the IBM Q case, okay? So where is... Do you remember what's exclusive uh, or quantum oracle? What are the input, what are the output? For a function that I'm trying to compute, y equal to f of x, right? How do you construct the exclusive or oracle? What's the input? Two groups of qubits, yeah? One group is for what? what? Remember? Yeah, check your cheat sheet. One group is for, I mean, what else can it be, right? I say y equal to f of x. What else can it be? Two groups. Huh? X, right? You must have x, right? Oh, no, I'm talking about the input. Okay, and so you also have y. But this is not really why, it's just a group, right? We start with zero as the input. And then the output is what? X is unchanged. Y exclusive or 
f of x, right? I feel that you should memorize this, but not memorize it too painfully because if you understand, it should be easy to memorize. There is no other combination almost. Because we said earlier, a quantum oracle is a quantum gate. It needs to be reversible, right? The number of input needs to be the number of output. So a naive weight, input is x, output is f of x. But they are not going to be a square matrix. Input is not equal to output in terms of the number of qubit. Then what is the best way? Well, just you have a y as input or x as input. And then the other side is x as input. And it's called exclusive OR. It's the e easy to memorize my Y exclusive or F of X as the output, right? Instead of F of X, because it's not a regular computation, it's a quantum oracle, right? Exclusive or It gives you the information of Y exclusive F of X. Right? So you should be able to memorize, to be frank. You should not mess up if you think carefully, right? So this is the quantum oracle. And you see that I actually did not draw what the input is. I'm going to tell you in order to make this work. In order to make this work. I'm going to have a Hadama gate in front of it. Right? So this is not just exclusive quantum oracle, but it has two more gates in front of it, a not gate in front of it, okay? Because we know for Y, we must supply zero, right? And you will go for exclusive uh, not gates and then the H gate. Why is that? Let, I will explain to you why this will work, right? Let's look at this. What is the input in terms of the bracket notation? Can someone tell me? Inputs to the whole system. X and zero, right? X and zero. X tensor product zero. Okay, I don't know how many qubits, I don't care. N, M, right? Here is not one qubit, right? And then, then if I call this one, what is the value at one? What what does how does the qubit change? X n. Okay, I need to. We, what we can do is do this. Right. After the at, at, at step one, right? Your zero go through the not gate, and then go through the h gate. Right. What is the knock? What what is it after the knock gate? One. What is it after the X gate? At uh, the H gate. Someone say huh? So let's review. Someone say plus right? But we always say zero one basis correspond to plus minus basis right so one corresponds to what one correspond to minus right and if you forgot we have another way to memorize the fake 2d figure zero one this is plus this is minus right so when you have a, a one applied to it, it is minus. This is not very zero minus one. Okay, anyway, this is what minus, right? Or I can write it as H tensor product one over square root two, zero minus one, which is equals to one over square root two, x zero minus x one. Is that okay? Is this okay? 
Very simple. Actually, this one you can do it before midterm already, right? Just a simple uh, evolution of the qubit. Okay. Now, how about at step two? At two, what do you get? It becomes what? We're going to do it because it's linear. We're going to do it term by term, right? For the first term, it means that input is x0. What should be the output? If the input is x0 to this exclusive or oracle, just follow the definition. What should it be? First of all, what is the most significant bit? x, right? So what happened to x? Unchanged, right? So it's still x. What and now what is y? Y is zero, right? For this term. Yeah. So it will take the function, it becomes zero exclusive f of x. Everyone follow this? Just follow the rule. Because for this term, x zero, x unchanged. LSB is on top, and then this is zero, y is zero, so it becomes zero exclusive f of x. How about the second term? What do you get? x unchanged, yeah, thank you. The same thing, but now is one exclusive f of x, right? What is one exclusive f of x? Hmm? Negation, yeah. It's a not operation to the lumber. Any fun, any lumber, f of x is just a lumber, right? It can be many bit, then you bit wise uh, exclusive or then you get the first term is just f of x, the second term is x. f of x bar. Okay. Now to understand this, we're going to do this step by step. If, right, f equals to zero, then what do we get? We get one over square root two x zero minus x one. Do you agree? Do I do something wrong here? Yeah, I'm right. What is this? This is equal to x, 1 over square root 2, 0 minus 1. What is this? It is minus again, x minus. Okay? So if x0 zero is 0, what happened? No change. Right? Continue. If x equal to 1, this equals to 1 over square root 2, x 0, minus, sorry, is it x 0 or x 1? Yeah, not otherwise, but because, yeah, that's a good, 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 good way to check. But uh, because f of x is 1, right? So this is 1, right? So what is not f of x1? f of, not f of x. What is this term? What is this term now? Huh? Zero, because f of x is 1. Is that okay? So this one is equal to what? x times negative 1 square root 2, 0 minus 1, right? Because this is 1 minus 0. So it's equal to negative 1 times 0 minus 1. So this is equals to negative x minus 1. Am 
Make sense? What I'm trying to show you is what? Isn't that? This is equivalent to negative 1 to the power f of x. Yeah, because we want to say it has the same function, right? Looks like you have the same function, but actually I'm not accurate. Then I actually should finally tell you this. Therefore, this one is u of f, remember? This is u of f, right? The, the oracle, right? If I apply the u of f to x, tensor product h of 1, or basically it's just saying that apply this one to the whole thing, right? If I have this whole thing, right? X tensor product H of 1 is the one, the results from 1, right? Based on what is said here, is equals to negative 1 to the F of X. X tensor product H of 1. H times 1. Right? Be because you see that now, maybe it is better I write it here. This is equals to negative 1 to the f of x, x minus here, right? Plus, right? But then, because f of x is 0, so negative 1 to the f of x is, the f is 1, right? This is still equal to negative 1 to the power f of x, x minus right because now f of x is one so this is negative one to the power one so it's negative right so still the result is negative one to the power f of x times x one uh, x minus right and that's what what i'm writing here h tends h applied to one is minus right so that's why we're saying the whole operation is just equal to negative one to the power f of x times x tensor product h1 okay but do not forget we just say yeah it must be zero and one because we're dealing with binary yeah yeah f of x is either zero or one you won't get two or three it's all binary okay Different basis state, but f of x is the evaluation of a function. The output is either 0 or 1. Uh, you can have 3, but it becomes 1, 1. Right? So here, our f of x... Uh... Okay, but in this case, we're talking about Gruffer's algorithm. f of x must be 0 or 1. It cannot be 3, right? Because whether we find it or wrong. So, so sorry, I did not answer clearly. In general, f of x in any algorithm, right? It can be any number, but they all represent in binary number. So it, it can be more than one bit. Uh, but usually we need it to be only... Uh, yeah, but in this Gruffer's algorithm, it's either zero or one only because you find it or not find it, match or does not match. Yeah, good, good point. So... What is negative 1 times f of x times x? It's just equal to v of x, right? So the whole thing is just equal to v of x tensor product h of 1. Right? So, or a minus, I, I, maybe since in my cheat sheet I call it minus, I just call it minus because h of 1 is minus. The main point what I'm trying to do here, right? A little bit messy. I did not deliver it well. But basically, this is an exclusive quantum oracle. If I make sure that the input to y is minus, then its function is just the same as applying the v to the x, the original v. 
or, or the face oracle. Although it always uh, has an appended by a negative, an extra qubit minus. But its function is still V of X. So this exclusive quantum oracle is indeed implementing the function correctly. It's acting as like a phase oracle, which we already proved that it flipped the vector about the uh, A perpendicular. Okay, uh, it can be messy, particularly I confuse you a little bit. So take a look. Uh, the main message is here. You should be able to f understand all the math at this moment. Understand what's exclusive quantum oracle. And it will be, and then another thing is that I show you that this exclusive quantum oracle is equivalent to the phase quantum oracle. Except I need to append it by a negative, I mean, negative and minus state. You have an extra qubit compared to the uh, phase oracle. Is that okay? So if that is the case, I can come up with my algorithm very easily, like before. Before, I only have a Hadama gate to generate the phi, and then we have the phase oracle, and then we use this Goofus diffusion algorithm and repeat it by square root n time. Now, I just need to add another LSB so that I have I generate the minus here before it goes into the quantum oracle, like here, right? This is minus. And we know that for this quantum oracle, if this is minus, then its function is going to flip the vector about the A perpendicular based on what we proved earlier. And the good thing is what? After this quantum oracle, the output is also minus. Therefore, this is minus. If I repeat it, the input is still minus. So you just keep doing the V. I do the V, rotate it by two, uh, two theta, and I rotate it about the uh, A perpendicular. And then I do the W, rotate back about the phi, and it's minus again, and then I have a new solution. Then I go back. I just keep rotating, rotating. So this whole thing is still implementing what a Goofus algorithm needs to do. Or oh, then you need to copy and paste the whole region. Yeah, in Kiskit. I'm not aware that, okay, in the composer lab, right? That graphical, right? Then you just copy and paste. I don't, I am not aware that you can do repeat. But if you're using the, what, what do you call? The composer, right? Not lab, I mean the composer that you type, you write the text, text right? The Python code, you can just do a for loop. Yeah. Okay, any questions? Yeah. One of the famous algorithm yeah, I I, won't, I don't know how to define popular. I think the most popular will be Shaw's algorithm because it's related to uh, encryption, right? You can de uh, hack all the quantum computers. So I mean, all the all the uh, encryptions. So everyone know, knows about that. Yeah, but this is uh, what an introductory course will cover because it does show another aspect of quantum algorithm. The first one usually is Deutsch. Right, you understand the basic, and this is another aspect of like rotating the vector to get the answer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's the reason for not converting W? Because uh, this is W is just a regular quantum gate. It has nothing to do with f of x, right? Oracle is that what you usually implement the function you want to compute. So this Groove's diffusion uh, operator is just the same of as X and H, except that it's larger. It's just a regular quantum gate. It does not contain the inform at uh, the problem you try to solve, which makes sense because W rotate or reflect about phi. Phi has no information about A because A is one of the equally superposition vector. <laughs> 